Hello guys and welcome to Chess for Dummies uh, episode. So today we'll play 15 minutes game. It's gonna be super slow and boring, but I'm gonna teach you the basics because I will have more time to comment on the game, right? So let's start the game. All right. First thing what you would like to do in chess, you would like to move E or D pawn. So one of these guys really want uh, to take over the center control, right? So let's start with king's pawn, as it uh, helps our bishop and queen uh, to see the daylight, and maybe one day go for for beginner's checkmate. You know this this thing, something like that. Yeah, here we can checkmate, right? Um, I can actually try to go for that. It it's not advised in a uh, high rating games, but I could just have some fun here, right? Well, this is Sicilian defense. So one of the strongest uh, replays uh, to e4. Okay, um, let's go for this. Let, let's try to add some more pressure at the f7. So in the beginning, f7 and f2, uh, <laughs> f7 and f2 are uh, the weak squares. So basically, what you want to do, you want to uh, put as much pressure as possible on those squares. So right here, I can just do this. So I'm attacking this pawn as well as um, threatening checkmate so they did a good move they they moved e6 so blocking our bishop from attacking f2 apologies f7 and also in the same time bishop defends now these guys so i cannot take it right so what should i do now i think i could develop the knight then castle short move the pawn up get the other knight in the game Maybe bishop here, attacking the queen, and get this rook in the middle of the board. So that would be uh, the end of the opening, you know, once you castle, get uh, the rooks connected, opening phase is over, and then the middle game starts. Uh, okay, so right here, what can we do? I think we will just go with the plan. I don't want to see a knight f6, because that gives a punch to the queen also attacks our e-pawn so maybe i just defend e-pawn so in case knight moves out i can just retreat the queen okay let's do this so i'm thinking that i'm gonna put the queen down here it will have zero reason but okay also it's possible to go here because in case this guy moves we can get this pawn Okay, let's let's move the queen away. So now the tricky part, in case the knight takes this guy, um, I have to take the queen, right? Because once they take back, I'm gonna get the knight. All right, so they keep on attacking the queen. So now this move looks okay. Yeah, let's do that. Um, at this point. It feels like I could just start sacrificing things and open up their king side, but I would like to get the knights in the game first. Yeah, and maybe castle as well, so as we, as I said previously, right? So basically, if you are a complete beginner in chess, all you need to do is, you should try to get some center control, you know. Uh, basically uh, four squares in the middle of the board okay so they're looking to open lines hmm. I think I could go uh, to b5 pin the knight to the king so they will try to kick it out i cannot go back because that will be a trapped bishop right or not okay well anyways I i'm thinking about taking out this guy so they will have double pawns so yeah, yeah as you can see our rating here is really low so now they drop this guy Ok, 
can just give a check first. Can I? Oh no, I can't. Let's say I check here, they can move and defend this guy. So I have to take first. So yeah, important is to eliminate single move blunders in the beginning. That is uh, at this rating level. So I don't know why I have 1100 rating here, but okay. It's probably because I played only one game or I have never played. I don't know. Usually I don't play 15 minutes uh, chess games. I go for blitz 5-3 minutes or sometimes bullet games as well. I don't really record bullet games because uh, with this recording program yeah, I, I feel like I have slightly bigger lag so I cannot play 1 minute chess games. Even if I pre-move all the moves I go down on time. Alright, so how to proceed now? Let's take this guy. Can we do that? Yeah, and then I'm thinking that I'm gonna pin the knight. So I will have queen and a bishop attacking and well, they don't really have a good way to defend it. So maybe, oh wow, they... It feels like they don't really know what to do now. So how to defend? Well, they can come here with the rook, but that would uh, lead to check, king moves, and bishop takes the queen, right? Okay, so they defend, let's add another attacker, so trying to remove the defender. So now maybe rook here. If rook uh, g8, I think uh, I'll go uh, queen h6. Okay, so this now drops a piece. But if they take the bishop, we will get the rook because queen is not here to defend it anymore. So I think we'll do that. I can just block with my knight and then later on move it in the game, right? Let's do that. See how knights are defending each other, also the bishop helps. So they're going to take our bishop now. Well they had this move as well. Anyways, if they ever take our bishop we can always take their bishop. And in case they take back, we'll get the knight. So I don't know how much for a beginner this sounds, but okay. Let's start... Oh, okay. Well, they resign. Of course, th there's not much to do. I can just take this guy. Once they take back, I can take the rook. I can also take this guy. They take back. So here with the check as well. So yeah, no reason for them to continue. Um, it feels like I could play another game. So 15 plus 10, let's go for it. Let's make a little longer video today. As it is, chess for dummies. Yay. So... As you can see my rating is really low so okay so as you can see they start with one of the pawns right kings or queens pawn it's usually because they want some center control so here the most popular replay is d5 so they're playing a uh, queen's gambit we will decline accepted would be if i take So I can also go for, um, I, I forgot the name, but this one is quite popular. <coughs> My apologies. Alright, so, um, sometimes they tend to take the knight just because I move my rook and uh, that means I will cast a short, but okay, not the case here. Okay, let's take out this guy. Once knight takes back, I'm gonna push the knight out. Wow, they take with the queen, okay. That means we gain time developing the piece. So if you're a beginner, you always want to gain time with developing someone. Knight, bishop, rook, queen, anyone. So your pieces want, want to be active, you know. They want to play. I can also insert a little check here.
Also feels like bishop check would be quite nice. But they could just drop back. Oh, this just wins the game. So, uh, can you solve this puzzle? Can you solve it? Alright, I'm gonna tell you. It's bishop uh, b4. So, skewering queen or pinning queen to the king. Basically, they will give up a queen for a bishop. So, that's kind of a win, you know. 9 points for the queen, 3 points for the bishop. I kind of like the trade. Uh, he wrote in the chat, blonder. Not blonder, but blonder, like blonde. You know, <laughs> female chess player. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, yeah, so basically they can just resign now. Alright, he's asking for one more. So, he still wants to continue, okay. Well, at this level, uh, Cox, our opponent, is 1200 rated. Uh, usually, uh, they uh, like to continue the game even though it's dead last. But, okay. Just for the learning purpose, let's finish the game. Often, I also say never give up. It's actually a good strategy because, you know, if he thinks I'm also around 1200 level, then there is a big chance uh, players in a such a level could blunder as well. Okay, well, maybe we should just grab this guy. Now nah, let's castle. If I take the pawn, they take back with the knight, and as I said previously, gaining time is really a good thing, so I wouldn't like them to gain time. Okay, so what here? I would like to see if they take, so... Finally, my bishop could see a daylight. So maybe a simple push? It would give up a pawn, but uh, for some activity... Or not. <laughs> okay. Where we can fight now? Alright, I need to develop this bishop, right? So, maybe pawn up and bishop uh, a6, so at least some activity would be gained. Or maybe just takes, knight takes back and now this move. So where the knight will go? Knight will have to go back, alright, let's do it. So let's do that. So they decided to take with the bishop, okay. Interesting. So the bishop have to move again. So if they take, I will take back with the queen, right? So far so good. So basically, if you are up a 6 in material, that's like two bishops or bishop and a knight or two knights. Um, or rook and a pawn, it's also a 6 total score. If you're up so much in material, all you want to do is trade down everything. So, imagine that I traded down a knight, bishop pair, well, they have bishop pair, but I have one bishop, so also I give rook for a bishop and two pounds, let's say. So everything gets traded down, I still can have a rook and a pawn, right? Because I'm up six in material. So, it's a basically easy win if you, if you have just rook remaining. If you have rook and a pawn, well, it's uh, super easy to win. I think I will make some uh, videos about uh, how to checkmate with rook and a pawn, with bishop and knight. You know, some of those checkmates are quite tricky. Alright, so, if I come up, I still defend the knight. And I leave some space for the rook. Because this, this knight now is uh, not too well placed. So, okay, let's try this. Well, they have something uh, like... Oh, no, they don't. Because because I can just chop twice. Okay, let's, let's not do that. Original plan. 
to finish the development, right? So, bishop here would be really strong with the queen. So I could checkmate them in uh, some cases. Alright, so the rook moves. So they have some discoveries now. I don't really care as long as I stay with my queen on the fifth rank, you know, anywhere, so I can defend. So let's see what Cox will decide. When I see their country, it says international. Okay, so someone likes to travel a lot. I'm gonna ask him, do you play live chess tournaments as well? Alright, so I'm gonna trade my bad knight because... Uh, oh, wow, I... <laughs> I got really distracted, wow. Oh boy, it's so bad, okay. How to take back here. It's still winning, I mean, but wow. <laughs> okay, let's focus on the game, not on the chat, right? So see, as I said previously, on a 1200 level anything can happen. Uh, since I haven't played chess for quite a while, um, I feel like I'm not as sharp as I used to be. But, uh, you know, you can get that sharpness back, you just need to spend a lot of time, a lot of practice. Uh, what really helps for me is uh, if I spend like five, hour, 5 hours a day to do chess puzzles and then I really feel much more confident with my game. Okay, so maybe knight here and then up here. So it wasn't that bad, I mean we get the two pieces for the queen, right? So basically a uh, rook and a uh, knight, right? So that was 5 plus 3, 8 points, and queen is 9 points, so it's not that bad, but uh, the worst thing is that I completely missed that, so I don't know what happened to me, okay. But let's try to make the best out of this situation, and uh, here I think at some point they should take the knight, so I open my king up, and you know, then they have some lines to attack, to work on. I could also move my rooks in the game, finally, because I, I think I'm neglecting uh, my development for too long. So something like this, maybe. Alright, so what could they be calculating here? Maybe something like this. This bishop seems uh, a little weak, I think. Um, yeah, for us it should be a simple uh, rook development move now. Maybe prophylactic move, so king has a flight square in case of uh, some uh, back rank checkmates. Sometimes that can happen, so so king can escape. Yeah. Um, so where do we want to play? We want to play. I think we want to play in the center. So right now, I can just force some more trades, right? So let's say I do this, a rook has to move, and then I take the bishop, so rook will come here. That's interesting. Okay, and then a rook will be in awkward position, which is also nice. But the thing is, I cannot just jump in here because bishop will take, so let's prepare. And if we are lucky enough in the end, we might as well just get some back rank checkmates. Yeah, so also, if uh, uh, rook c8, I will prepare to come uh, rook uh, c2, so infiltrating to the second rank, creating some threats. 
So that that should work. Okay. This bishop is not uh, the most active piece, but uh, it does a good job holding together our d pawn as it's isolated. Isolated pawn means that there is no pawn on e or uh, c uh, files to defend. For instance, b pawn is well defended by a pawn, right? And in case a pawn gets attacked, it can just move twice and b pawn will defend it. So these guys work together. d pawn is isolated, so there is no uh, pawn on the side who can just uh, defend him. Okay, so at this point I can just come in. Rook here. Oh, apologies. So I'm really bad with arrows. So something like this, I take, they take back. And in the end I can just give them back rank checkmate if they can block and then it's mate. Okay, let's do this. So this is a win for us. In uh, three or four moves they will lose another piece or they will get checkmated. I hope you followed. So, uh, rook e1, knight takes bishop on e2, rook takes back, and c rook to uh, c1, check rook blocks e e1, and rook takes rook, checkmate. Right? Easy. So, as I said previously, back rank checkmate. You always want to move one of the pawns to create some uh, flighting, flight square for a king, just in case something like this happens. So. This is not the most complicated uh, combination, but uh, still, it is really strong. I mean, in general, in the chess, you don't have to calculate a lot ahead. In case if it's a simple position, you can just uh, make simple moves, right? So I think uh, this position is not uh, the most complicated. So at this point, um, they will take back with the knight, right? So can I just do this first? I mean, look at that. Look at those knights. This is called a powerful knight, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. So if I can get rid of this knight, it's going to be checkmate or I'm going to get uh, the bishop. So let's say I take the bishop now. They will take back with the knight because the knight will defend uh, c1 square. So I cannot checkmate, right? So knight takes, knight takes back. Yeah, I should get rid of this knight. It's also quite powerful. Look at the squares. It controls in our territory. Um, one of the moves might be actually f6 just to give a punch to this bishop. It doesn't really have many squares to go. You just go back or here. No, here. Nope, not, not, not here. Blunder alert. <laughs> Alright, so. Do I want to take this bishop now? Or maybe let's improve with, with, with some more time. Let's see where this guy wants to go. Yeah, let's do that. I cannot take now because well, I can, but uh, our knight is so so strong that I wouldn't just want to give it up right now. They can take back. In case this guy moves, it's easy decision for me. I'm gonna just take the bishop with my c knight. Okay, so. They are sacrificing things. Can I just take back? What's the catch? So, looks like there's no catch. It's another blunder. Well, blunder is also uh, a sacrifice, right? <laughs> so, if I move the king up, knight here, king up. Okay, this looks safe, actually. It's kind of funny, but it's safe. Attacking this guy. And also threatening to take the bishop. If rook takes back, it's mate in two. One, they block, two, checkmate. So they can also go here, but then I will take this knight out first. Oh, but then it's not a checkmate. If they take back, the king can go out. Well, still, we are plus seven in material. I mean, they have like 
hopeless position. Okay, um, yeah. What else? What can they do? Something like this. Maybe pawn to f3, giving a punch to the knight. But then I would just take their knight, right? So they take ours, and we can just take take it back uh, in all kinds of ways. I like this rook. It's really passive, and uh, it cannot go anywhere. So it can go here or here, but in case of uh, b1, they would lose the bishop. Okay, so they defend, alright. So this one, this sounds fun. And note that they don't have this uh, fork because of our knight. So basically they would like to kick this knight away. I think that's their main idea right now. can just add another defender so let's say this guy moves they have discovery on our rook so we wouldn't like to see that right so can I just check in case they take it's mate in two as I said previously in case king moves hmm in case king comes closer what can I do So check, king comes in, check, king takes, check, um, okay, I think if I go here, it should be a win, yeah, it should, oh, okay, they, they missed it, or I missed something, well, let's say check, rook takes, rook up, check, Rook blocks, it's checkmate, right? Because this knight covers flight square they created. So basically, they, they had this idea, so kick away my knight and then fork our rooks. But they completely missed our threat, so let's start. They don't have to take with the rook as well, but then it's mate in one. So if they take with the rook, I can uh, just check. So they block and check, so it's gonna be mate in two moves. Well, the best thing about uh, slower games is that you have so much more time to focus on your ideas and also try to see your opponent's threats, as I said previously. So fork our rooks in case they get uh, our knight away, so with this move. So I was expecting something like that, and this is why I created uh, our own threat, so uh, often uh, players at this rating level are so much focused on uh, their threats that they forget about everything else. So it's a mate in one here. It just lights out. Alright, they said they want to rematch. Let's go for that. I will offer them another game. So it looks like they left the chat. So, Alright, well if they don't want to take it, it's okay. We win the game. You know what? There is this computer analysis. I will make another quick video and I will analyze this uh, game so you guys will have more understanding what happened so thanks for watching this and uh, feel free to click on the uh, next video somewhere around I will put it uh, so you can see analysis what computer says about my moves and our opponents moves so thank you all for watching uh, of course thanks to our opponents for playing and see you at the next video guys bye